All right, we got the Kenworth a little present as well. So it's a diesel heater. And guys, for 125 bucks, I said, why not? I mean, we installed, I don't know if you guys seen my video on my father-in-law's Peterbilt. So far, it's been working great. The only really difference I see is it looks like they upgraded the control unit. The remote looks the same. It has the on, off, and all that button. It's got the little fuel pump, which very important. If you do mount these fuel pumps, they have to be mounted like so, at an angle like this. Otherwise, I heard actually this, it doesn't suck it or I don't know what happens. It doesn't work properly, but whatever. This is the hose that connects to one side. The blower hose. We got the bottom bracket that goes on the bottom. We have the exhaust. This thing actually, believe it or not, helps a little bit. We tried this with the exhaust and with it. There's like a little drone that's very annoying without this exhaust. So... You got the fuel line, you got a little air intake filter, all your clamps, looks like a fuel filter, and just a heat vent. And for you have to buy this separate, this is the fuel tank standpipe. This allows you to, uh, instead of running this plastic fuel tank, this allows you to take your diesel from your fuel tank, which is nice. This is about 30 bucks separately. And on the passenger side, usually there's a little cover, round cover, that you're able to remove from the fuel tank. Usually that's where the fuel sender goes. You just drill a hole and mount this pipe right in there. So just like so guys, I don't know if we'll be able to get the installation in this video, but most likely we'll get this done next week. All right, putting in our new Christmas present, guys. Got it wired up. Just gotta put in, connect it to this speaker I have on this left side, because with this panel, it's hidden in there and you ain't gonna hear nothing. But what's nice about this is you got the talk back and you got this Delta Tune, this inner button right here, that's your echo. So basically you turn it up and you could hear your echo, your talk back and all that stuff. So it's like a tuned, it also has, a, has some sort of performance tune inside it, I guess maybe for longer distances. Uh, but sweet gift. Thanks my father-in-law. Check one, two, three, you hear me? Yeah, loud and clear. Nice, nice, we got it working. difference guys we were just here like two three days ago on christmas eve and it was all packed with snow around here now it's just bone dry nothing it got warm real quick we got like 54 degrees the past like two days basically but guys running up north all right we got one more guy that showed up and we got my father-in-law rolling, rolling up as well Everybody's bringing double cans today. This is up north, guys. Bellingham, Ferndale, exit 260. It's nice as you just back up into the dock with your doors closed. They do everything for you. They open the doors. They close the doors. They put the seal on. It's uh, mostly because it's cow skins. That stuff is like leaking and they have to tarp the whole container and all that stuff. Cow hides or whatever it's called. Those LEDs are looking good. And what do we got over here? This is 260 truck stop, 430 diesel. And that's uh, cash and credit debit price. Nothing like some old country roads.
so not much local right now so we're heading out a little bit farther now hopefully local comes in soon we got a scale that's closed finally this one likes to be open all the time it's kind of annoying because they don't pull anybody in and over here they actually have a few officers in training on this scale and coming back down at the Bow Hill scale and they got us in they're like hey we can't find your IFTA uh, next thing you know they're like never mind here it is well let's uh, do a quick inspection while you're here so it's like they try to get you you know what we do over here is we bring two containers in and we take one loaded out so then maybe next run I could come up just a bare chassis I don't have to run with no container save a little bit of fuel and time but now we got to take two off and put one in the middle and then back up in the dock and get it loaded up all right we got one off one more to go air chassis up north again check out that w9 cruising behind us look clean same visor Yeah, guys that's why I dropped two containers this morning so I could uh, bear chassis basically empty basically driving like a bobtail feels like I'm driving a bobtail back up north to pick up that second loaded container and bring it back down to Tacoma 120 miles there 120 miles back so not too bad and hopefully we get another fourth trip done this week tanks a few days ago doing another full tank fill up right now just to check my fuel mileage wrote down the miles I did last fuel up and we're gonna check right now because my truck does not show uh, the miles per gallon reading the fuel mileage so I have to do everything the paper wise we got loaded filling up again at 430 up north over here. a little bit cheaper some math since my truck does not have any uh, fuel mileage thing counter it ends up to 6.9 miles per gallon with these uh, highway runs which they're pretty heavy but 6.9 is pretty good I was able to do 620 miles on 89 gallons which I'm pretty happy with it I mean if these were lighter loads I'd say I could probably easily get a seven and a half but we really pushing the trucks with these a lot of a lot of hills. Now we were supposed to do another run today, but looks like we are just uh, returning the load. Because guys, my wife is going into labor. Uh, hopefully we don't miss this delivery of the baby. That's the scariest part, because we still have another like hour till the port opens up. It's actually more like almost two hours till the port opens up. Then we have to go through the speaker and then we still have to drive to inside the port and return this uh, load. So guys, we're crossing our fingers. Let's not miss the delivery of this baby. Well guys, we actually made it. Right in time. I'm born December 30th. Names are Haley. So yeah guys, it'll be a while till I probably post my next video. But hopefully you guys like, comment, subscribe.